Hello everyone, my name is Olayin Kayeni and I'm from Bredo Consult. Today we're going to be talking about how to attach EBS volume to our Linux servers. Um, after this video, there's a reference to how to attach EBS volume to a Windows servers. The Windows server is actually much more easier than attaching uh, Windows, uh, in attaching EBS volume to Linux servers. But for today, we are going to be using Amazon Linux uh, uh, Linux 2 EMI. So let's go ahead and uh, and see. So the first thing first is to log into your AWS Management Console. Then you click on Services and you click on EC2. We are trying to um, um, we are going to deploy a new Amazon Linux 2 EMI. So on the left hand side, you go to instance and click on instance and um, let's deploy some service. So you, you go up here and click on launch instance. And the type of instance that we are deploying today is going to be Amazon Linux 2 EMI. So this is the first one in line, which is also free to eligible. So click on select. Um, we are still doing general purpose. T2 micro because we are trying to stay in a free tier environment. Next, you go to configure instance details. Uh, leave the uh, we want to deploy one, just one instance, so just leave this as as default, and uh, click on next is add storage. This is where we are going to really do some work. So we have our root volume, and the device name is called a XVDA. So we are trying to create additional um, uh, volume and just uh, add that additional volume to our service. So now click on add new volume. You have the EBS volume, which, which is what we are, are trying to add. And we have different types of, um, I mean, you can choose any device name that you want, but let's just go with the, um, um default okay slash dev slash um, sdb okay so if you want to attach a snapshot you can select um uh, from your snapshot but we are not going to attach any snapshot we are just um going to leave it like that so and the size let's leave the size as 8 gig because we are still within our free tier limit as you can see right here he said we can get up to up to 30 gig free tier and uh, 8 plus uh, 8 plus 8 is is a is uh, uh, 16 actually we don't need 8 gig for now let's just make it 1 gig just to uh, for this training exercise and the volume type you can choose uh, how to for our general purpose out of all these types of uh, volume type to get more information on this volume type, please reference AWS uh, um, documentation. And also you're gonna see what's called delete on termination, which means that you want this drive to be deleted whenever you terminate the server. You can click on that, but in a production environment, I wouldn't advise you to do that but for this training purpose just click on delete the uh, on termination and we don't want it to be encrypted because we don't really know what encryption is now it is later down in the uh, lecture we are going to talk about encryption so right now good we have uh, added one gig of additional storage next click on next tag let's give this server a name okay I'm going to give it Bezo console and let's say Linux. Okay. So this is just to identify your server among multiple different server. And next security group, your security group must at least have a minimum of SSH with that will enable you log in into the server. Okay. SSH. You can give it a name or if you have an existing secure with a group, you can just choose from your poll, but I'm just going to leave this like this and click on with your launch. Now let's click on launch our instance. You have to choose a key. Okay. 
if you don't have in any key just click and create uh, a, uh, a new key put your key name in there then click on download keeper but since I already have a keeper then I'm just gonna go ahead and choose existing keeper and uh, and uh, click on acknowledge and click on not launch instance so our instance is currently running I'll be back when this is done thank you so welcome back I'm currently logged into my Linux uh, Amazon Linux 2 AMI so and uh, to see available drives on your Linux server what you, you need to type is LSBLK this is going to show you all the available drive on your servers right now we have what is called xvda and we have what is called xvdb the new one gig server that we had it is xvdb this naming conventions they are very very important because that is what you are going to need i mean that is what we are going to be working with and as you can see this xvda has a slash in front of it okay that means that the drives has been mounted and also that is our root drive but the one that we are trying to get um working is the xvdb okay so now lsblk shows you the available drive on your computer so what next i mean there's no magic to this um the amazon documentation on how to attach EBS volume on Linux server is right in the description menu so you can also use this and follow up with me so next thing that we are going to do is to uh, 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 um, is to uh, create a file system on this server so we're gonna go ahead and type sudo file system minus s slash dev okay slash xvdb okay we are trying to create a file system on this xvdb click enter now we have our file system which is called data okay so now what are we trying to do is to also still create a file system okay sudo mkfs make file system minus t xfs okay dev slash xvdb let's see what we have here okay so as you can see all these things looks like magic but if you are following through from the amazon documentation you will see that okay this is actually you know making a file systems on this particular external drive okay so let us now mount it into the data into the data folders so let's see sudo make directory slash data so we just added it to to the data and to have a look again you type lsb okay and say as you can see our xvdb let me see we still have not have that um, mounting on it okay so i am missing one step okay let us mount that xvdb into the data we haven't mounted it yet so let's go to sudo okay and you can open the amazon documentations and follow through okay so sudo mount we want to mount this drive dev dash xvdb that is our server slash data we're trying to mount it now if we have a look lsd okay we should have this data mounted to our xvdb remember we create a file systems we um you know so and we created data uh, we now mount them on each other so that is how it is it is so now let us add some content to that and uh
and let's see how it is so i want to um um, uh, um go into my data um uh, um folder and actually add something into it so change directory slash cd slash um uh, slash data oh change directory slash data let's so i'm in my data folder right now so let me just add something there sudo um touch okay um ola.txt okay i mean let me just do bego.txt okay we've we've done that let's just check to sugar list uh, services okay so now we've added a text which is a uh, um, like a folder into our data directory which is called bego.txt bego.test so in order to edit bego.test and had some content inside of it of bego.test sudo nano nano bego uh, bego.txt i mean this is uh, just basic linux you know but uh, let's type hello world my friend hello world my friend and actually uh I, 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 i'll try to save it okay hold on let me see yes so um click on next and uh let's see so now i am back to to the previous you know me menu then let's see uh cut bego.txt so it just to see what is inside bego.txt file you 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 can you do cut cut is just to see what is inside the the file so we have hello world my friend inside the cat so that means that we've just mounted so if we go back to lsbk you see that now the uh data has been i mean how do i put it okay so now now we have a working additional drive and we have um uh, bego.txt in in data so and also there's also an i mean this um so everything i've done so far okay when anytime i restart this server all, all the configurations are i mean we just go because we did not do you know uh, uh do the additional section of um of of uh, we haven't done um so there's also additional script that needs to be run in order to always attach this drive to this drive upon reboot and we're gonna do that in our next class okay but just just to give you an insight of that okay you can just put it as sudo let's see if we can do that sudo cp dot etc all this there's no rocket uh, science it is in amazon aws documentation okay fs tab dash etc slash fs tab dot org okay then you do sudo nano i want to edit that file okay slash etc slash fs tab so i want to edit this um this tab with with an additional information okay so i'm just gonna write dev slash xvdb okay slash dash data dash ex um t4 xt4 slash default okay yes dash no fill no fail zero dash two 
Okay, then we can save this. Yes, and just get out of this file. Oh, what's going on? And just get out and let's see what we got here. Exit, let me see this. So something is wrong, then I'm going to make another um, video just to get this up and running, guys. Okay, I will see you guys in the next class.